What's going on folks? Kind of a weird video for me today, but the kids got a couple of laptops for Christmas from the father. Um, I'm guessing he bought these during the Black Friday sale at Best Buy for $1.99 a piece. And the first time I heard $1.99, I was like, eh, these specs are going to be pretty insignificant. And I wasn't exactly wrong. So this particular model is the HP model 14-DK0002DX. And the only reason why I'm making this video is because I want to flood YouTube um, and the internet along with other folks with uh, to correct the mis misinformation from HP about this particular laptop. So um, it comes stock equipped with an A9 dual core and um, only 4 gig of RAM. So when you Google it and you're like, okay, well, 4 gig of RAM today, it's, it's 2020. You can't really do that. Um, Windows 10 alone, just with background processes, takes over half of that. So, I mean, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get on Google and you're going to be like, okay, let me upgrade the RAM to this thing. You'll find a couple of forum posts on the HP forum and the HP people are saying, oh, you can only have a maximum capacity of 8 gig, but the uh, RAM slot is inaccessible to the user. And then there are a few other people saying, okay, that's not exactly correct. And then you look at the manual and it says that the maximum is 8 gig, one slot, inaccessible and then the higher up processor options can have up to 16 gig inaccessible again so more people decided you know what we're just going to take this thing apart and then um, you look at a couple of youtube videos of the same model and it seems there's a lot of discrepancy there so i took mine apart as well obviously um to be honest this is the not the first video I've done already because I think the first time I did it, I hit the space bar, I accidentally stopped recording. Um, so that's why it's all apart. So we'll start there. So um, the first thing you'll want to do is take off the rubber feet grip strip things here. Um, there are four metallic screws to take off. And then there are two screws in the front that are non-metallic that are immediately accessible. Um, I use my iFixit kit, so I use this little plastic pry tool for the strip so you don't ruin them. Uh, the easiest way I found is they use a clamshell design like most of their other laptops. So you can just you can you can grab the, the gray part and start prying it up easily. And then um, I use a combination of the plastic and the metal pry to get it off. And then once you get that out you can see for a fact, there are two RAM slots here and the SSD is fully upgradable. Um, my particular model came with Western Digital uh, SN520 NVMe. It seems that all of these will come with a 128 gig NVMe drive, but as HP apparently in my experience working with them, they like to give different brands. So yours, my, your, your mileage may vary. You might have a light on or a, the Shiba, or in my case, the Western Digital. So I guess they're using those to source. Um, as well as a single 4 gig 2666 DIMM by Samsung. The other video that I saw, the other two videos that I saw were not Samsung. I think one was Light On and the other was Hynix, but I'm not particularly sure. That was a little while ago. Um, in my case, I have only two 16 gig DIMMs. Um, that I borrowed out of a donor laptop that's my own. Um, they're both Samsung 2666, so I figured if it was going to work, it'd be a drop-in. Same brand, same speed, just a bigger capacity and dual channel. Um, speaking of dual channel, one, gig or one stick of RAM is single channel, and anybody who knows APUs knows that the onboard graphics is notorious for being slow under slow ram speeds and single channel it needs all the bandwidth it can get um, speaking of that you can tell that they use this particular board for different variances of their notebooks because you can see right here where you can install a dedicated graphics card and the accompanying memory chips to be soldered on for that so it only makes sense for them to have two slots on here why their manual says otherwise and why their texts are saying otherwise i have no idea maybe they want you to send it in and get more money upgrading i have no idea Either way, that is definitely not the case. Um, I haven't actually turned this on yet, so I don't know if this will work. Um, one thing that I have heard is that it's hard locked at 1866, 
which when we first got these going, it was running 1866 and the stick that came with it is 2666. So I will be Googling for that later just to see what's up. See, and if I find anything to take that constraint away, I will definitely post another video for people to see. And I know this is kind of cringe that I'm just, I'm not even snapping it all on there, but these are donor sticks that go in a different laptop. I just wanted to see if this will work before I spend any hard money. So we'll, you'll see with me. Hear the fan. Well, there's a post, ladies and gentlemen. 32 gig of RAM. Completely inaccessible. Notice the sarcasm. And we're in Windows. So, I guess all I'll do now is see if it detects all of the RAM that I have in here. Be a good old task manager. This is already noticeably faster. I can tell something's going on. Yeah. 32 gig of RAM. Locked at 1866. And just booting up, it's already using 2.9 gig of RAM. And this is a fresh install too, so it's not like I have all the extra bloatware installed. I immediately noticed that with extra RAM, it's able to boot faster and the CPU isn't pegged at 100% for a solid 2 minutes. Which is very unusual for an SSD equipped machine. Highest so far I've seen is 66%. So, there you have it folks. We'll just go ahead and shut this thing down. And that's crazy. I don't understand why they would tell people that. That is some serious misinformation. I really don't get that. Um, one last thing I will notice or will mention is that this SSD is a 2280. So you can pretty much buy what you want off of Amazon and upgrade that too. But I wouldn't go crazy because this thing is really only good for light loads like Minecraft, Fortnite. Facebook, YouTube, your basic YouTube watching. Um, it did kind of chug on a 4K video, so I wouldn't try to do that. If you plan on hooking it up to a TV, the HDMI port's only 1.4, so it'll only do 1080p. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm surprised it has a Type-C port. That's really surprising. That's over here in this corner that you can't see. Um, so that's kind of nice. You can use a Type-C dock, I suppose. Um, Built-in Ethernet. Um, I don't really know what the Wi-Fi is. They have a sticker covering it, and I'm kind of too, kind of too lazy to take that off right now. The main goal was RAM. That's the biggest thing with this. So, hope this was helpful. Hope everybody has a a great week. And if I find any way to up the RAM speed, I'll definitely make another video.